What's up guys, I'm here at Books A Million and this is probably the best version of Forbes to ever be released. Now I don't read or really consume many magazines. I've dabbled and I've looked at many magazines from Entrepreneur to uh, Inc to Fortune and I've tried to read a lot of these magazines quite often but the real issue is that a lot of, there's a lot of fluff and not much really um, good content these days but this Forbes issue makes all the difference check out the list of billionaires and the exclusive essays in this episode in this issue these are people that I can't even get information on through the internet at least not much uh, specifically here's one Li Kaxing he's like pretty much the richest guy in China he has been for like years on end he's highly respected and revered in China it's very very hard to get anything out of him there are a few good translated interviews where uh, on YouTube where uh, they discuss um, his where he kind of explains how he succeeded which is also um, surprisingly very similar to how Warren Buffett succeeded basically buying great businesses that he know will last and will perform well during economic downturns and holding on to them. Uh, very similar to many other investors like John Templeton, but um, it's very hard to get any advice. And look at all of them. You, you got, um, well, Martha Stewart's not a billionaire, but you have Bloomberg, Warren Buffett, Lee Kaxing, uh, Carl Icahn, uh, Bill, uh, Boone Pickens, of course, we have the Bezoses and Gates and Zuckerbergs and Dells and Musk and Buffetts of the world, but all these other people, Charles Schwab, Ross Perot, billionaires that uh, the average person hasn't heard of, but the stories, the secrets, success uh, that they tell are just uh, incredible. So um, it's just amazing, not only this, but uh, the sheer amount of uh, content and information these days I think in a way it's kind of overwhelming and uh, we truly live in a world where it's it's more about uh, curation rather than just consuming anymore um, and this is my recommendation to you this this issue this hundredth issue of Forbes uh, it's also there's a lot of history to this this thing's been in existence for a hundred years and here it is finally uh, still standing the test of time revered and respected and it's you know it's really smart too it, it went into the uh, online world but um yeah just just a quick uh, reminder again like there's so many business magazines and books so you don't have time to read them all but what you can do is really um, sift through them and really identify your goals maybe it's to earn money well where do you, where should you go to earn money well maybe you should listen to someone who is uh, consistently uh, the world's wealthiest in the world rather than just some random online entrepreneur that's running a Facebook ad trying to sell you a get-rich-quick scheme so in that case you don't have to read all these articles but you could turn to maybe the page with uh, Zuckerberg well there's a ton of content on Zuckerberg online anyway so maybe skip him maybe go to uh, uh, Russell Simmons right here or maybe you can go to someone who's you know maybe you're looking for those uh, rare gem 